Hello everyone and welcome to my perfect Animal Crossing town from Animal Crossing Population Growing on the GameCube. So I've been doing a silent series going over how this game looks in HD and widescreen. And now I'm going to show off the town that got me the Golden Axe. So first I want to show off the Golden Axe. There it is. Ooh, and I just did a video on that as well. So the trick to this is pretty much 12 trees an acre except for exempt acres and also basically having some flowers spread across as well. It's 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 actually quite complicated and I'm going to let you guys know right now before I even start. I did use a Animal Crossing save editor um, that someone created and you think that would make the process a little smoother because I got to move signs around and my rocks and stuff, but it would actually also randomly delete trees and stuff. So while it was helpful, it certainly didn't make it that much easier. And before we go through each acre in the town, I thought I'd let you guys know Animal Crossing is a game that holds a really special place in my heart. I got the original game back in like 2002 when it came out on the GameCube. Me, my mother, my sister, and my grandfather all had a house in the same town, and we played the game religiously. We had the strategy guide, and we would check off every piece of furniture, fossil, painting, everything after we got it. I gotta find that book one day, and that memory card. It is out somewhere in my, you know, childhood home, so hopefully I can find it at some point. But yeah, we played Animal Crossing for years on end, and uh... I mean, we followed up with the game and would trade with each other. It really is a special game. And I remember getting it and thinking nothing of it. And then I popped it in. And I'm like, oh, this is special. So you really get that like, you know, you. I don't know. When I entered Animal Crossing, I'd feel lonely. But I popped that game in. And I, I don't know. I felt like I was in a world where, you know, everyone was kind. And well, actually, that's kind of false, right? Because some of the villagers in this game are mean. But I don't know. Just... There's really good vibes about Animal Crossing, and if I was having a bad day, I could pop this game in and feel a lot better, you know? And basically the premise of Animal Crossing was made because someone felt lonely, and I don't know, this game just makes you feel happy. I don't know any other way to say it, but alright, that's enough chit-chat from me. I've done enough, you know, glazing of the Animal Crossing series. I've played all the games pretty much except for New Leaf, so of course, probably the best one. Um, the one I didn't play, but as you can see I start on the top left here with some golden trees and flowers behind the melody sign Some trees down here Nothing blocking the pond. I didn't want to block the pond in a1 at all So let's go over to a2 and I have trees all across the back here. It's like a pattern of cedar and the normal trees Here's my dump. I got some flowers in front of it. Nothing crazy. I did match flowers by each acre, so acre A1 would be a certain type, A2 would be the second type, and A3 would be the third type that's in the game, and I'd keep follow that pattern all the way through. So you might notice that in the video, but here's my other pond, once again, nothing blocking it, so that I have easy pond fishing when we get to that point. A3 is where I moved some of my signs, so you guys can see, cutting down a tree just to get its fruit is foolishness itself. If you must cut down a tree, be sure to plant another. Balance is the key. So just when you enter my town from the train station, you get a little warning of, hey, take care of the place. <laughs> and I got some lines of tulips here that look absolutely beautiful and stunning. There's only three uh, flower colors in the game. I didn't realize how simple it was back then. Caution, there are bees in them, there are trees. Don't shake the trees recklessly. I'm sure there's plenty of bees. Don't eat what you can sell. Orange, 100 bells each. 500 bells for other fruit. Tom Nook. So orange is my town fruit. Uh, but yeah, I didn't do anything too crazy here, honestly, in this acre. I just thought it was nice to put some signs there. So let's keep moving. Um, and I have two more signs in front of Nooks, and guess what? They're continuations of the sign before it. I'll buy your fish. I'll pay market price for any type of fish. Tom Nook. So Tom Nook putting out some of his ads right here. Bug hunting tip. When it goes silent, wait patiently. So unfortunately, that should have been a selling insect sign for Tom Nook, but whatever re for whatever reason with this save editor, I feel like it changes my signs up. Which at the end of the day, I guess is whatever, but... And I had the sign set up a certain way to make it look cool, but unfortunately, that was ruined. I still have Nook and Go. I haven't, I have not unlocked the final building of that, but that's okay. That'll happen over time. So once again, more trees along the back. Unfortunately, to get over to this acre, I do have to cross into one of the lower acres. So, so 
So we'll be going a little bit out of order, but that's understandable. Just ignore what you're seeing. Pretend it's not there. <laughs> As you guys can see, I have a lot of signs over there in that acre. Gotta pull these, pluck these weeds, keep my town perfect. Uh, even though I probably won't really focus on that too much, but whatever. More golden trees back here. I think it's a really nice touch to the town to have them in certain spots. Got some cedar trees there, some regular trees, and a sign about fishing. Wisdom of fishing. Know where the fish live. Know the flow of the stream. Pull them, push. So I got signs all over here about fishing. There's three more. Come get your daily fortune. I read palms, paws, claws, talons, trotters, and oobs. Katrina. Soon, I will be coming to YouTube. Please come buy my carpet, Sahara. So more ads for people that come through your town. Welcome to Crazy Red's Furniture Emporium. Look for my special offers. Now, I don't know if that pops up in front of Crazy Red's. I don't think it does. I think it's just somewhere in your town, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. And then more wisdom of fishing. Always pay attention. Silence is better than noise. Walking is better than running. So I thought it'd be cool in this little fishing area to have a bunch of fishing signs. So that's exactly what I did. So now we are in B4. Uh, nothing too crazy over here. Just more bunch of trees over here and some tulips again. Obviously, as you guys know, this is B3 and this, these are all the homes. Look at all these bugs. Jeez, man, all these dragonflies. Is there normally that many? There's like eight of them. I didn't even realize there was so many of them. Jeez, must be a common bug. It's a lot of dragonflies. So obviously I'm the only house right now in the town. Maybe I'll add more later. To what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking about doing is adding more people in the houses later to finish furniture sets. I kind of figured that would be a good idea, so that I can display off all the coolest sets in the game in all four houses. So I'll probably think of doing something like that later on, towards the end of the series. I want to do a lot of the events, you know, and record that, because in my opinion, those are the best parts of the game. Alright, so yeah, really nothing to talk about in the B section. It's just a bunch of trees. Strategically placed to get a perfect town, that's all it is. So let's head down into C. And I believe the unfortunate thing here is... To see technically right yeah getting over to where i gotta get is tough but we'll get there let's head over to see on the farthest left and this is where i really started to go ham so c1 you guys can see is the museum acre i put a lot of work into this one including the mu museum sign far away museum officially acknowledges youtube as an archaeological research and excavation site and that's cool it's right in front of the museum so that's what i tried to do with my signs i tried to match them to the location uh, but obviously like i said that's pretty hard to do because for whatever reason the save editor messes with the game and the signs will move on you along with the trees too as i had so much trouble getting a perfect town i did a lot of like in-game stuff i feel like i almost doubled my work by doing it with the save editor but whatever at least it came out really nice in the end i have all these flowers over by the museum and i kind of figured that would bring in an easy way to scout out bugs but i might be wrong there because i don't see any <laughs> I'll buy your insects. I'll pay market price. Any type of insect. Tom Nook. Mm. So this sign is supposed to actually be near his shop, but whatever. Mm. Bug hunting tip. Everyone wakes up at a different hour, but everyone sleeps at mm. night. I guess it's okay if that sign's down here because of all the flowers. I mean, it makes sense, right? That's where a lot of bugs are going to pop up. I know I'm talking your guys' ear off as well, but I found out in the original Animal Crossing, stumps are a bad thing in this game. They actually hurt your town rating. Uh, which is crazy because I think you need them in the newer games to catch bugs. So, just in this game, there are no bugs, I guess, on stumps. So, once again, no another plain area, nothing crazy here. Here is uh, C3, which I already kind of showed you guys before with Grizzly living here. Bit of an interesting area. You have this really weird, like, slope over here. I don't know if I like it or anything, but I did. I was able to get flowers right here, which I thought was neat. Wow, all my neighbors are over here. Alright, so this is C4, and you have the river in the way. So unfortunately, you guys are once again going to get a sneak peek at what uh, the D um, acres are. But that's okay, not a big deal. It is what it is. Oh, I just realized I still can't get over. So one thing we need, guys, we need a bridge right here. You see how there's a bridge down here and a bridge up here? 
I need a uh, Tortimer to come here and put a bridge right in the middle. I don't know how you get that. I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I don't know. Should should this still be called the perfect town if I didn't get the bridge? I guess I guess if the wishing well says so, right? That's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, I'm an E. I'm not even close to where I'm supposed to be, by the way, guys. So maybe I'll just make my way around here as best possible because clearly this is gonna be really tough. Yeah, that's D, so I'm spoiling basically all of D right now, just to be able to finish C. <laughs> so yeah, C5, nothing really here. Pretty, pretty, you know, empty. So I guess we'll move into kind of what I did with the uh, Ds. My D acres are fruit-based. Oh wait, I, can, I guess I can show you this little area too. I think this is a neat little area in the back there with all those tulips, but my D acres are full of fruits. So I have pears in the last one, apples in this one, and I think this is the best part of my town, man. I basically have orchard, orchards, orchards, almost said orchards, I don't even know what that is. I have orchards basically in the D layer all across my town. So when I want to get a certain fruit, if I do, all I have to go to, all I have to do is go to a certain acre, and they're right there. It's convenient, you know? So here's the peaches acre, after we got past the apples one. And then you have cherries. There's also more cherry trees up top. And then you have oranges, which is, you know, uh, native to my town. So that's really nothing too special, but still. Like I said, lots of flowers everywhere. So here's the wishing well. This is where, when I showed you guys the video, I have a perfect town. He'll tell me it again, I guarantee it. Everything is perfect. YouTube is a very livable place. Well, sort of, right? <laughs> Help make your village a beautiful place. Plant flowers and attract people to your town. And I thought this was the perfect sign to put near the uh, wishing well once again. I love when the signs match like that. I'm a big stickler for that. So yeah, I kind of went through all the fruit sections with you guys. Here's just more trees and the police station and check what i have here if you have lost an important article please stop by and check our lost and found youtube police i have the police station sign in the police station acre for some reason they didn't do that naturally why i don't know but maybe because they have the map right here which you can also move but i decided to just keep them where they're supposed to be i don't want to break the game any further than i already did just trying to move some trees around to make it easier, but uh, here's another villager. I'm trying to think who this is. Bangle, that's right. Bangle the tiger. And I'm already spoiling that layer, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep moving. Alright, I guess I'll show you guys the bottom now. We're getting close to the end. Just the way the game works, it's impossible to obviously show you guys everything without spoiling the layer below. But I have this really nice entrance over here past the pears, where you have all these beautiful flowers and uh, trees, and on both sides, it feels like you're walking in to like a royal entrance or something over here. I don't know, it just looks really nice. Aesthetic is everything, you know? So I moved all my rocks, and check it out, I put my palm trees near the water, like they have to be, honestly. I don't think you even have a choice with that in this game, but as you guys can see, I have all my rocks, one, two, another palm tree, three, four, weed, five, six, Another weed, jeez. All these dragonflies, too. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are all my rocks. They're all in the F layers. Or, not F layers, F acres. And I got some, like I said, I got some coconut trees or palm trees. So, it's a really nice touch, in my opinion, to the town. Makes it a little bit more tropical. And then you have, obviously, the Able Sisters, but there's really no sign for them, so left that as is. But yeah! That's my perfect town, guys. I really don't have much else to show off yet. I haven't really worked on a house. Although I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna focus too much on my own type of house. I really wanna focus on making really cool sets, you know what I mean? For you guys to see uh, in HD. And of course, not everything is textured in HD, but this, this still looks so much better than the original game. If I took this filter off, you guys would be blown away at how good this looks compared to uh, the original game. The original game pretty much looks like an N64 game, which it originally was before they ported it over to the GameCube in the US. So, well, I guess I've talked your ear off. I hope you've enjoyed 
the wonderful aesthetic and everything attached to it in my perfect, wonderful town of uh, YouTube. That's what I named it. That's right. <laughs> But yeah, if you like my content, it really helps if you subscribe, like the video, make a comment. All that stuff really helps, and I want to put out more Animal Crossing content for you guys. I'd love to do, like I said, all the seasons, all the events, some of the smaller things that pop up, the fossils, the paintings. You know, walking through the museum with everything complete. I think that would be a really fun idea, but it's going to take time, and your support would mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for watching another video. I'll see you guys for more Animal Crossing HD content, coming up soon. Meow! Yeah.